So over the past few years, there's been a bit of a buzz about bartenders earning in excess of $100,000 a year. Bartending can definitely bring in great money, outstanding in some cases. But I'm not here to try to convince you that a six-figure bartending salary is any way a common thing. Now, you may be able to achieve this by this video lesson that we're about to show you, titled How to Become a Bartender. Whether you're planning to do this part-time or even working for yourself, if you make all the right moves, you can cash in on this industry. So, join me as we meet our experts and learn all that we can about how to become a bartender. Let's go. All right, in this lesson you're going to be joining me as we learn the ins and outs of what is required to become a bartender. Our respected experts will cover everything from how to get started at a bar to how to build your very own bartending business. So I started as a, as a bar back and uh, at a bar at, Cos at uh, Long Beach and what happened was I was called in to um, just kind of help out. One of my friends called me and said, hey, we need, ha we need help with a bartender, with a bar back actually. I wasn't really sure what that meant so I went and they just, basically I was just cleaning up the bar, people leaving their drinks behind, refilling the bar, the, the beers, anything and everything that the bartenders needed, that's where I went about. Um, and I was there for about two years. Um, and I just learned everything from there. Went, went on and started learning how to bartend, learning the do's and don'ts, uh, what was needed, um, you name it. I mean, I basically picked it up all there. Um, so I just learned the, the drinks that they had there, uh, and then I went and picked up different drinks that I was learning on my own. Um, then eventually what I did was, um, I actually kind of got into the bartending on my own because a friend asked me, it was like a bartender's party. So I went and I bartended for him, and then at that same party, I had about three or four different people hit me up and asked me if I could bartend their party. I went to school up north in uh, Santa Cruz, UC Santa Cruz, and um, I was working part-time as a bar back, and uh, one night there was um, one of our bartenders that called out, and a busy night happened out of nowhere, as sometimes happens in college uh, towns, and the manager said, hey, can you step up and help us pour some drinks, make some, you know, um, small things that you know how to do, and I stepped in. It worked, he liked my work, and uh, from then I became more involved in becoming a bartender. Um, and then fast forward to me moving back down to the LA area, uh, I had friends that uh, knew that I had bartended, and they had clients from their businesses that need, had events, had weddings, birthday parties, etc., cetera, and um, they essentially kind of Refer, uh, referred me to these individual persons and you know kind of snowballed and here we are. I think one time on Craigslist I saw that there was a, a deal or a Groupon there was a deal for uh, a bartending school and uh, I just said well this is a pretty good chance I've always kind of wanted to be a bartender um, and so I called them up and saw if I can get a group discount with me and my friends and we got a pretty good discount along with the Groupon and we, it was four of us, we all went to the school and we took most of the classes and then we dropped out because <laughs> we realized that it wasn't really for us and this other guy we know, he joined the bartending school and passed and he went to, and he got the certificate and says I'm a bartender and he uh, went to my roommate who's also a good friend of mine, he's a really, really uh, fantastic web developer and designer and he asked him to make him like a simple one-page website and a business card. And so he did, and then he was able to call himself a bartender. So one day I came home at like midnight and I was like, screw this. I, I give my friend a hundred, here, make me a good website and a good card. And it was the simplest thing, but it was really good. And that's how Mr. Bartender was started. I'm Laura. Um, I started working at a retirement home when I was 15. I did that for a few years and then I moved to Red Robin, um, I was going to school, I became a host, became a server, I worked there for, after all said and done, about 10 years. Um, when I was 21, they made me a bartender, and then I bartended there for a few more years and got an opportunity to work at Louis on Main, and I did doubles for a while and kind of realized, I'm like, all right, Red Robin's done, I'm done with Red Robin, just now I'm here, five days a week, about 40 hours a week, so. That's how I got started. Uh, my name is Damien Anastasio. Um, when I was growing up in Hartford, Connecticut, my dad owned a liquor store. 
Um, and uh, when he sold a group of booze, like boxes of booze for parties, uh, backyard parties and stuff, he uh, would kind of whore me out to bartend when I was 17. So it was kind of my first job was to get behind a bar in somebody's backyard, set up the bar, get everything organized. My dad kind of taught me what to do. And uh, made, basically make, at the time it was sea breezes, gin and tonics, a lot of open beers and wines. And, um, and that's how I started when I was a kid, when I was 17. So, and uh, over time here at the Kitty, I started getting more and more shifts. After about three years here, the guy that hired me, the manager, he quit, moved on, bought his own place, and the boss made me the manager. So now it's 17 years I've been here, and I work bartend four nights a week, manage three. I'm here basically six nights. I come in during the day a couple of days a week to do banks and to do the bank and restock and stuff. Uh, my boss, he's the owner manager. I do what he says, but I help him out a lot. So I'm here a lot. And uh, that's kind of how I got to Liquid Kitty where I am today. And it's honestly a great job. I, re I have a lot of people that come to me, uh, can you help me get a job? Can you help me get started? I, um, I always point people to a, a website called Bar Smarts. It's relatively new. Um, it's like 29 bucks and you take this class online, you get certified.